Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on the IndyCar stage. We are uh, pleased to be able to introduce to you the newest scholarship winner uh, from the Mazda Road Indy. My name is Rob Howe, the proud voice of the Mazda Road Indy, the only driver developed ladder system of its kind in the world. And, uh, on stage with me as well, I have John Dugan, the director of motorsports for Mazda North, uh, North America Operations. Of course, I have our winner here, 19-year-old Oliver Askew, of Jupiter, Florida. Kyle Kimball, Mazda Motorsports uh, Operation Manager, and of course, uh, the man himself, Danny Anderson, the CEO uh, and owner of Anderson Promotions. This uh, particular week uh, marked a really pivotal event in the entire Mazda Road in the We ran the inaugural USF 2000 $200,000 scholarship shootout. People kind of ask, why is this shootout and the scholarship so much different? Well, the Mazda Road Indy crew, Anderson Promotions, Mazda, uh, all got together and said, we need to do something to kind of, kind of spread the, the reach of this program. And so what they did was they hooked up with about 20 different series around the world, uh, down into Australia, New Zealand, into India, Canada, uh, the UK, uh, a number of operations throughout the United States as well, karting series and, and different uh, Formula Car series. We brought all those champions together for a shootout at Mazda Raceway in Laguna Seca. And if you think about the amount of talent that we were able to bring into this program, just champions from all over the place, the, the talent was just absolutely unbelievable. Over 400 drivers uh, representing 20 racing series uh, vied uh, vi for those positions throughout the year. And again, we ended up bringing uh, just 18 of them to our race, or our, our shootout. 18 drivers from nine countries attended that shootout, John. And uh, an unbelievable event at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. We're hearing more and more information about the action that happened on the racetrack. We obviously weren't able to see it because it was closed door. Uh, but that event just two years ago, I mean, two days ago, was awesome. You know, John, let's, I'm going to start with you. And let's talk about where the idea came from for the shootout. To be able to bring these drivers, the reach extension you were able to do, instead of having just, if we had that, you know, the Skip Arbor shootout where we just had drivers from essentially around, around the U.S., to be able to reach internationally. Like, wow, just speak to of your thoughts on, on what we were able to do here. Well, frankly, it's a dream come true. Our company is clearly a global brand. Our president and CEO of North America, Masahiro Moro, always talks about one Mazda globally. We act like one Mazda. And our motorsport strategy here in North America has really driven a global strategy. And we sat down just about a year and a half ago, I think it was, and I'll let Kyle talk through the operations of the event. But we talked about how we could engage the Mazda brand in other parts of the world. Now, there are Mazda racing series all over the world, but there is a group of drivers like Oliver and, and as you mentioned, 400 others that could become part of the Mazda brand. And I think this was a coming together of that. Uh, when you see the fact that we had so many countries represented, I couldn't be there. So that was my biggest disappointment this week. I was in Japan. but. The, the, the basic reason for the Japan trip was to explain the North American strategy. And so, it, I guess it was a year and a half ago in Mid-Ohio, we announced this whole idea. And to have it happen was a dream. I, I picked up Kyle yesterday from his hotel and I said, you guys need to talk to the town. Uh, this, this shootout really set a benchmark. And to have Spencer Piggott, who's somewhere right over here, Scott Goodyear, these were part of our judging panel. These are our factory race drivers, former Mazda Road Indy scholarship drivers. Scott's resume is, is pages long, so dream come true to see this thing come together. And I think uh, now we have a pretty high bar. Kyle says he's retiring now because the first one went so well. You know, we talked about it at the unveiling of the PN18 yesterday. Uh, and speaking of, again, the importance of these shootout programs, the Mazda Road Indy scholarship shootout, the Road to 24. Mazda's doing some amazing things to give these young drivers opportunities that they would not otherwise have. Give me your thoughts on that. Many of us at Mazda are actually racers ourselves on off weekends. We know it's an expensive sport. We know the opportunities are minimal. And it's been our philosophy since 2007 when we actually started somewhat of a formalized scholarship program was we need to give people a path. We need to put our money where our mouth is and offer scholarships. And thank goodness for Dan Anderson, Michelle, uh, his family, and all of Anderson Promotions and Cooper Tire. We were able to put this together. And I think there's quite often times where we're pinching ourselves. We can't believe this. 
standing on the grid with you at Indianapolis last May. 23 to 33 drivers have been through this system at some point. You know, Oliver and the others, the 18, that is IndyCar 2020. And for us to be able to do that is an honor in the industry for us to provide that. I agree. Uh, Kyle, you spearheaded the, the shootout, the Maserati Indy shootout. Can you give us a little overview of the shootout itself? How did things go? A little overview? Uh, yeah, I, I can't start my answer without uh, recognizing a key teammate of ours, Jim Bowie. And uh, Jim and I work pretty much step, step in step. Uh, and uh, so Jim, thank you for, for all the work that you did. But when we first started this, it was the IndyCar weekend at Mid-Ohio back in 2015. And ideas just kept coming together. And the one thing you have to do at a shootout is make sure that everything is fair. And so we had to find the place and then number two, the cars that we were going to use. And through our contacts uh, in the paddock, R.C. Enerson, obviously a, a part of the Mazda Road to Indy, his father, Neil, starting the Lucas Oil School of Racing, uh, brand new cars. We thought there was no better opportunity than to utilize those vehicles. Most likely, nobody was gonna already be driven those cars, uh, so it would be new, fair, for everybody that was going to attend. From there, it was a no-brainer. We had to go to Mazda Raceway, the spiritual home of Mazda in this country. Uh, if you've ever been out to Monterey, you know how beautiful it is. And these drivers were making an investment to come in and participate. So staying in Monterey, the cuisine of Monterey, just giving them the whole experience possible. Uh, when we got there, every single driver got an hour and 20 minutes of track time, four different 20-minute uh, sessions. Plenty of time to get used to the car, show your speed. Uh, day one, they had three sessions, 20 minutes each. Day two, we brought everybody back for another 20 minute session in the morning. And then we cut it down to the top six. There were six people that really went above and beyond the rest of the field, Oliver obviously being one of them. And we did a, a mock qualifying, and then we went straight into a mock race. And I know you're gonna ask Oliver about it a little bit later, so I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was incredible to watch the level of talent over 48 hours at Monster Raceway. Uh, you had a, a very impressive panel of judges as well. As John had mentioned, uh, Spencer Pickett, four-time scholarship winner, of course, ABC and ESPN analyst uh, Scott Goodyear, Amy Carbonell was there as well, Joel Miller, Jonathan Bomberito, just a, a huge group of guys that were, were part of the program. Uh, what was the criteria that you guys decided on in selecting a winner? So Joel Miller, our prototype uh, full season driver, he was the lead judge. Uh, Joel had been through many a shootout before. He was actually part of the Red Bull shootout years ago. Uh, he was a finalist in that shootout. So uh, Joel helped immensely throughout this process as well, getting everything organized from a judge's perspective. When we set out the criteria, uh, we know that the Mazda Road to Indy IndyCar is, it's cutthroat, right? If you don't have the speed, uh, you're probably not going to progress. So we told the judges right away, we need the fastest, most consistent driver over both days. Um, if it came down to it where you had two people who are just as fast as each other, then we need the complete package as well, right? You have to be able to get out of the car, talk to Allied Building Products, talk to Mazda dealers, talk to Cooper Tires representatives. Uh, so we absolutely needed the speed, but we had to have the complete package as well. And uh, the judges took that to heart. Everything we did, we told the kids, or excuse me, the participants, they were being judged every single minute of every single day. Well, yes, but um, they knocked it out of the park. The future of our sport is, is in good hands. There is a lot of talent out there, and I hope the participants over the, uh, this week I hope they find a way to get into USF 2000, because there was a talented bunch. I would most definitely agree. John and I were saying, we saw the picture of all the drivers, all 18 drivers, we said that that could be the Indy card grid in 2020, 2022. It's just such a, a huge list of drivers, so talented. Dan, let's move down to you. Obviously, the 20 series that were involved in the program, it was a win-win situation for them. They were able to offer their, their champions something amazing, a chance to actually win a scholarship at, at the shootout. What do you think that this program, the Mazda Road Indy Shootout, and, it, and its international reach did for the series globally? Obviously, you're always trying to stretch out to, to, to find drivers all over the globe. How do you think the series benefited by this program? 
Uh, thanks, Rob. The uh, Mazda Road to India is a very recognized and unique in the world three-step ladder. And what this shootout does is it expands our reach and basically forms a, a nearly perfect feeder system into the first step of the formalized Mazda Road to India. And we've got championships all over the world representing um, amateur, semi-pro type of racers all aspiring to reach the top of their sport and make a career out of racing, now they're feeding into the Mazda Road to Indy, where we can complete their training, take them up the ladder into an Indy 500 seat. So yeah, it's terrific, it's exciting. Um, I think it's only gonna grow. Um, hats off to Mazda for doing a fantastic job in the inaugural year. Let's move over to Oliver here. First off, Oliver, congratulations. Thank you. You are the first ever Mazda Road to Indy International Shootout Champion. The prestigious Soul Red race car. Uh, let me ask you this: Has it sunk in yet? Not at all. I think, I think this is going to sink in when I'm sitting on, on the grid in, in St. Pete in March. Uh, this is unbelievable. The past few days have been a whirlwind. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for this opportunity. Uh, Mazda Cooper Tires, uh, Lucas Oil Racing, uh, Mazda Race for Luca Maseka for for hosting the event, and, and Jeremy Shaw and Timmy USA for first of all getting me the ticket to be there. So. Thank you, guys. Well, let's uh, let's give some insight into the, the final race itself. You've been mentioning in, in a couple of your quotes yeah. that you think it's probably the, the wildest and best race you were ever in. You, yeah. you and Oliver White just went at it. Yeah. You were in Tong for the last couple of laps, side by side. Give us your thoughts on that battle, knowing that the, 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 the scholarship of the shootout was on the line. It was definitely the most exciting race I've ever driven um, in a car. It was unbelievable. We were interlocked wheels for six corners and this is at Laguna Seca so that's not easy. You said something about like two wide coming down through the corkscrew area. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were side by side around the whole track for a few laps. Um, Oliver White and I have a lot of respect for each other and uh, you know I could have done that all day. That was really fun. Now obviously there's also a big learning experience for you guys. Everybody involved in the whole program. You talk about how much you were able to learn as, as going through the shootout. Yeah, you know, I, I learn something new every day when I go to the racetrack, but this was definitely an exception. Um, to have all the judges there, people like Spencer Piggott, Jonathan Bomarito, uh, I learned so much from them, and I also learned from my competitors, so it was a great time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously, Oliver asked you, as a, as a young man, you're going to want to keep your eye on for the future. Uh, before we break for one-on-one -on -one session, which we'll do with everyone here, uh, they presented Oliver with a pretty big check. $200,000 check at Mazda Race Wheelie Duda Seca, but neither John nor Dan were there. So we want to do another check presentation so, uh, so they can take care of you. Three of you guys want to hop up here. Now they already gave you $200,000 ask you. This is not $400,000. This is the additional $200,000. I just want you to know that. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor, round of applause for Oliver Ask you a fantastic young driver of the best kart racers in North America, and he will be driving the sole red car in the Cooper Tires USF 2000 Championship powered by Monza next year, that beautiful new USF 17. Not quite sure yet so what team he'll be with. Cal, you come on in as well. We're going to be having another driver announcement actually after we wrap the things up here. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Oliver's obviously a great example of the young talent coming through the, the North American karting scene. And we're expecting him to, to do extremely well representing Mazda and of course the entire Mazda Road to Indy program uh, presented by Cooper Tires throughout the 2017 season. Congratulations Oliver Askew. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the scholarship winner of the $200,000.